Greetings, Mavericks. Hi, Mavs, and welcome to this week's newscast. You know, getting here today was a pain. I ran into, like, five people. Yeah, somebody really needs to do something about that, uh, about hallway organization. Fortunately, Will and I made a video about ways to walk in the hallway. Sounds great. Let's see it. Did you know one in six Maverick students suffer from hallway anxiety every single day? For just one minute of your time, you can help them. It was just this girl standing in the stairway, hugging the whole thing. As you can see, our victim is completely hysterical. Improper hallway etiquette kills students. If you could just stop and take the consideration of your fellow students, it would make this school that much better. So remember, next time you decide to stop in the hallway, get on your phone, walk slowly, and loiter in front of the bathrooms. Stop it. Get some help. I heard a lot has been going on with sports lately. Do you follow our sports? Uh, not really. Neither do I. Brian has some information to catch us up on it, though. Hello, Mavs. Here's your sports update for this week. Our varsity football team has a game tonight at 7 p.m. at Arsenal Tech. Our unified football team has their regional game tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Ellison Stadium, a.k.a. home. The girls and boys varsity cross-country team have their sectional meet tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. at the Tiffany County Amphitheater. Girls varsity soccer played a game Thursday night, and if they won that game, then they will have a game on Saturday at Logansport. If not, they are out of the sectional tournament. Thursday, October 13th, at 6 p.m., the girls varsity volleyball team has a game at home. Chloe says coin has over 1,000 digs, which is stopping the other team from scoring a point. And Reagan Burns has over 200 aces, which is scoring a point off of her serve. Let's support all our Mavs in their sporting events this week. I've seen a lot of people going around with stuff written on their shirts today. What's up with that? I think it has something to do with Spirit Week. I haven't really been following that, though. Let's see what people have been doing all week to keep up with the themes. Spirit Week was extended by a week, so I decided to find some good outfits of this week's Spirit Week. Monday was Map Pride, which I unfortunately didn't get any footage of. But Tuesday was Preppy vs. Country. Now, look, this is the best I got. So let's try that again. Much better. Wednesday was Adam Sandler Day. Thursday was Boomer Day. And I had to throw in a teacher for this one. And lastly, Friday was White Lies. Some great spirit was shown this week. It's the first week of October, so it's time to put up some Halloween decorations and layer up some jackets. Weather can be unpredictable this type of year. I think Riley has some weather predictions for us. All right, let's see them. Hey Mavs, and welcome back to weather. On this week's weather forecast, Saturday the 8th, the high is 59 and the low is 34, and it's going to be partly cloudy. Sunday the 9th, the high is 67 and the low is 45, and it's going to be sunny for most of the day. Monday the 10th, the high is 71 and the low is 45. It's going to be partly cloudy the rest of the week. Tuesday the 11th, the high is 75 and the low is 53. Wednesday the 12th, the high is 76 and the low is 50. Thursday the 13th, the high is 63 and the low is 37. And lastly, Friday the 14th, the high is 58 and the low is 38. Thanks for tuning in to weather. Coming up here in McCutcheon are the PSAT and ASVAB on October 12th, as well as the fall play later on in November. Also, there's a marching band performance this, uh, this Saturday at the Harrison Show Band Spectacular, as well as the marching band's performance this Friday in the Ellison Stadium. Good luck to them, as well as the cross-country team who has sectionals on Saturday. That's all for this newscast, Mavs. See you next week. Go, Go Mavs! Mavs.